Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are currently going to go over how to build a basic modern pool in Minecraft. Now, of course, one of the things you're going to want to start with is your palette. That block palette will generally be depending on the surrounding builds or possibly just the style you're going for. In this case, we're going to go with dark prismarine for pearlescent frog lights and we're going to also go with quartz variants. Now, oftentimes when you think of a modern pool, you're going to think of a deep end and a shallow end. Another common feature may be lap lanes. We're not going to do that in this video. But in terms of it, the pools, you're generally going to want to, of course, you're going to be building it on a flat area generally. Oh, that's why we're on a super flat, which is also like around to build Hacks World. We're recording with shorts. So we're going to raise this section up just a little bit. And we're going to leave room for a band around the edge. That's going to probably have a slab over it because, you know, some pools have a rim. So there we go. That's raised a bit. That will define shallow versus deep. And of course, we aren't going to, we want to that border to be right there. So we're going to simply just lay this out. Let's see what I'm doing in a sec. And you're going to have a transition. Doesn't matter if it looks pretty on this because it's all getting covered up. So, uh, didn't mean to place that like so. And yeah, we're going to simply do it like so. And then we're going to basically switch to our smooth quartz if we're using quartz, of course. Now, of course, you may notice we aren't doing the walls just yet. That's because we want to make sure we have space for the actual build. You don't want to do the walls and realize, oh wait, I made it too small. Now, of course, now we need to, since this is the deep end, we're going to have a sort of a transition area. So, of course, you know, it's not going to be, like, generally straight to the deep, you know what I mean? We need to have a somewhat of a transition. So, we're going to go with a slight, like, sharp, what is that? It, is that a 45? Yeah, that's a 45 degree angle right there. And we're going to just bring that across. And there we go. Now, we don't want the transition blocks there because... It's already transitioning down. But you just want to know for the defining thing. Unless you're planning on putting signs there to say this is the depth. But you could do that. You may want to just put a transition like so. Now we have this. And finally, we're going to knock out this bedrock. And yeah, you're normally not going to be dealing with bedrock on your survival world. But hey. This is a super flat and we're in creative since it's a tutorial, so we'll just ignore that for now. So we're just simply destroying this. And we're going to put all of the smooth quartz in because that's our base palette block. So as we put this all in, we're just gonna simply make sure it all looks nice. And then we'll probably move on to the lighting. Because a lot of your modern pools are going to have pool lighting, especially for if you're like at night or just so you can see the bottom oftentimes. So but that's what we're, what we're going to do. And so there we go, a bit more of this. Let's see. So a little bit more, and there we go. So as I said, we're on to the pool lighting. So we're probably going to put one of these in about a grid of four, since it's a deep end. And generally you're only going to have about four or six in a deep end of the pool. Because as I said, they're just so you can see the bottom generally. So there we go, and we'll put one right here. And now, of course, we need to probably work on 
the walls. Then once you have the walls going, we can install the next wave of lighting, the wall lighting. So let's go ahead and just start mining this out since we now have no idea that we made the depth right. So, oh, we don't exactly need to dig that all the way down since it is only according to the depth that we're digging. Now you can make it all solid or you can just go with rounded edges. We're going to do solid because it's modern. Modern generally has a lot of right angles. So we're going to do it like so. Dig that down a bit more. prismarine in here for a reason. Now that's going to be visible in just a sec. Oh, and of course I missed this section when I did that. So let's just fix that. Now we're going to simply, it's at this depth that we're going to start making a ring of this, the dark prismarine, because some, oftentimes you'll have just a ring of some color, under color, no, it just often for aesthetics. That's probably the only thing it's ever for. And there we go. Oh, and also regarding the deep end, you can generally make that pretty much whatever depth you want. You don't even have to include a deep end. So it is something that a lot, it's, it's all the, just the freedom of the builder basically. Depends on what you want and how you want it. So. Now here we go, we're going to keep bringing this around. Eventually we'll hit that barrier right over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the smooth because we want a bit of contrast between, oh, that's the pillar. Didn't check right before it started placing. So the, the pillars will be at the top and the smooth will be around the base. I don't know why I chose to do that, but I did. So we're going to do it like so. And I guess it just gives a bit more detail. So there we go. And let's start placing these. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. So as you bring it around, you'll start to notice that you probably may have to make a few adjustments, which I don't think we have to do that right now, but I don't see anything that needs adjusting right off the bat. However, we will want to add tears in and out of the shallow end, possibly even a life support ladder. I'm mean, not life support, just like a, no, what is it? What do you call those ladders that you go up and down like in the deep end. Uh, if anyone knows what they're for, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, anyway, we're just going, we might include some of those if we can figure a way how. Generally, that's something of its own. So, now here we go. We're going to start by putting these stairs. And we're going to make it not so much of like just stand. Born like that, we're going to wrap it around like so, and then we're going to turn this edge into that. And now we can simply go ahead and put our lighting in the walls. Now we're going to want to set an interval with this. So I'd say since we have about one, we have about nine blocks to work with i'd say we'd go every third starting at this one 
we're going to put them in. Now why did I choose that? Because it gives us one on each end. So then we're going to do the same over here. And one every third. And it also lines up with that. So one every third. Yeah. Third is right over here. And then all there really is is to add the water. Which will basically be something we'll show you in just a sec. Now we're going to skip this one because it will sort of interfere a bit. Now, as I said, we're just going to add the water. We can simply go. And if you're wanting to add something else, the next thing you may want to add is a hot tub. Now we do have, our t have a tutorial for that, which is basically, un it's not really a tutorial, just like a quick bail hack. You can simply slip that, I'd say probably in this corner right here, make it either raised or in ground. That will actually be a nice addition to your pool. Maybe you add a gazebo around it. It's up to you. Now, that's all for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.